Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to be a rocketeer in Plane Crazy and or strike fighter aircraft. Now this is a multi-purpose aircraft to which you're supposed to use it as a fighter against other planes or as a ground strike aircraft. Mainly ground strike is very helpful in PvP. I don't really play PvP too much when my friends join me but still when you're actually having a battle fair fight or something like that this aircraft and going aircraft with rockets is great strategy for going tanks going for tanks because tanks are slower moving target usually and either way you can destroy pretty much anything you want with the rockets so pretty much I'm just going to get into placement to start it off since we're doing planes wing placement is super common you want to have at the very minimum four rockets if you want to deal damage um, six is a good number to have and you do have to have a few guns like you have to have some good guns they can be wing mounted or fuselage mounted though the wing mounted ones are very very helpful there's just um pretty much what you can do is convert your normal fighter aircraft like a mustang p51 c d i don't know any mustang into whatever you want this to be your strike fighter your rocketeer and it's very simple usually i'll just use my older builds you see this is my only strike aircraft currently the Deloitte 520. It's a very good strike fighter as well. And the only thing is that it's got cameras so it can be taken out easily, but that's it. Now, we're going to move on to speeds and differences. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to have an aircraft that's fully stable and also you have to have key controls on all of these tutorials i forgot to mention key controls are the only thing like you're you're doomed if you're not using key controls so let us get started a little bit with uh, maneuvers so we're going to spawn in here And take off. Something big you really want to note is um, to have a rudder. Once again, r this in this plane, this rudder is going to be very, very helpful, av avoiding fighters, as we have four panels of straight. Just going into 45 degree angle, we're going to drift and that will be helpful for you and also at target acquisition it's very great because you're going in you can't just roll and use w all the time you need to use q and e from time to time for your rudder because it's just more convenient and to get you out of sticky situations like that i just was in all right now just that's a little bit right there of a recap now we're going to show how this is played usually the search for vehicles begins from two three hundred altitude to six hundred altitude you have to search for in a vehicle and low flying at high speeds is the best idea for that and um once you've acquired a target, it's very much like dive bombing. You go up and actually do it the same way as a dive bomber. And as before in the dive bombing video, I discussed how there's more ways to... You don't have to dive bomb, but it's in the same kind of category. And what it is is pretty much... You just go into a low swoop. You don't have to do any extra maneuvers, you just go into a low dive like that, and launch your rockets off. 
It's a very easy thing to do, but rockets can also be used against planes, though it's very difficult. You can use them against bombers or anything like that, but it's just, like, no. I, I'm also going to tell you that it wouldn't really be fair if you use close tracking. Don't use close tracking on these missiles if it's a plane. They didn't have those back then. And, of course, if you're in my Discord server, we're going to be going for a little bit more realism. So, try and keep everything realistic if you are joining. And, speaking of the Discord server, we only have one special recruited member. So, it would be awesome if we had more people joining us. Because, having that private server so that we can just play it... Well, I actually have battles in it every day. Kind of, it would be awesome, you know, a PvP server without shredders. And speaking of that, there's a reporting system, and we're using the blo bo blocks link, which means that if you like, you have to verify your Roblox username. So therefore, in Discord, if you violate something in in your Roblox character like using a shredder and someone takes a screenshot sends it to me can ban them from the discord server as well as the private server now this private server is going to be just for fun uh, these kind of roles are probably going to be mostly useful in the private server except for rocketeer maybe dive bomber because these two Aircraft rolls are very good in PvP to combat other types of vehicles like jets and shredders, like those PvP jets that are really annoying. But yeah. Now, one last thing. When you are going into a dive, You can't really do too much of a low swoop. Like I said before, you, you're going to start really picking up speed. Especially if you're using hover drive like me. I'm using one hover engine. Let's see if we can see it inside the plane. No, okay. Well, you're going to really pick up speed. Like, I can get up to 700 in a dive. So, you need to launch your rockets pretty early don't launch them too early but if you launch them too late you're good as dead now um thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow with the heavy bomber tutorials and how to be one this also will apply to medium bombers well i'll see you guys in the next one